Chapter 6 to Chapter 11 Main Mission, The Fourth Fuyuki Holy Grail War Description, Seven Magus summon seven servants to fight to the death in order to obtain the Holy Grail, now all the masters have arrived to Fuyuki, and you are one of them. Objective, as a master in this war, you must kill at least one of the servants or masters. Reward, 10 million EXP. I have looked to notice the mission that appeared after I entered Ryudu Temple, this must mean that Kuritsugu has arrived here, which means that Gilgamesh will kill one of the assassins tonight, which means that Irisville and Saber will arrive tomorrow, by that time, hoping that no one may I discover my arrival here, or the fact that I am Mr. Custer, but I do not think they will suspect a ten-year-old, but I will not count on this, I must make backup plans. In any case, currently I have been heading towards Media which took the building storehouse as its workshop. I will never know why the Magus tend to build their workshops in warehouses and cellars or in dark places, can they not only build a beautiful workshop overlooking the sea? I don't think so, because it is the Magus's duty to keep the supernatural out of the public eye. I knocked on the door and slipped a little, but the door didn't open, but Medea called me behind me, I'm not there, master. Uh, Medea, I just wanted to let you know that all the other masters have arrived at Fuyuki, I thought you might want to know this. I told her while I looked at her in the eyes in a neutral expression. It was my servant's media just three days ago, at this time I gave her a list of people who would be likely to participate in this war, but this time is not enough for me to treat her better than a Paul, but she seems to have a different opinion. Medea smiled towards me, and I noticed only now that she was wearing beautiful civilian clothes, she approached me and started to rub my soft, short hair, thank you, master, but I have already discovered every magus enter the city. I grabbed her hand that was rubbing my hair, for God's sake. I am 28 years old, I am an adult, and the fact that I am in the body of a child does not change the matter, and also, I am Victor Von Doom, in some parallel universes only my name sows terror in others. Stop it, Castor, I don't like it, I told her while I sighed, but I left her hand. You are so cute. She told me as she played with my hair again, I just realized that it was really hard to be a beautiful looking kid, but I did not prevent her this time, her physical strength is higher than me because she is a servant. Also, she is Castor, and I'm Magus, as long as I have gained enough trust with her, she will be happy enough to teach me the magecraft of the Age of the Gods, and maybe some true magic, although the true magic of the Age of the Gods is less than the current true magic. I have a gift for you, she said to me as I took out an item from her jacket pocket, a heart-shaped necklace with a golden color, and she showed me a smile on her face. I thought you would be in danger if you encountered anyone who is strong so I made this for you, you can use it to save your life from danger, and its shape is very cute. She said to me while you gave the necklace to me in my hand, which I used observation on. Trogo's necklace. Type, Mystic Code. Effects. Mu Alpha Rho Delta Omicron Xi, a protective spell that borrows the concept of the Argos. Tiro Omicron Psi Alpha, when using this spell the owner is teleported to a random location at 10,000 meters. Users, Media, Victor Von Doom. Oh. I looked at the necklace before looking at Castor, thank you, Media. Oh, don't worry about it. Just be very careful. You're still a child. You have a great future ahead just for you. Do you think so? I asked her while I lifted my eyebrow. Yes, you might get many wives and children. All you have to do is smile a little. She said to me while she made my lips smile. Damn, my servant likes to control me. Well, this is all the information we collected about the five masters completely, I hope this is useful for you, Kyriai. A well-dressed man clad in a white, long sleeve shirt with a crimson tuxedo over it that has black buttons, a blue ribbon, and brown shoes. He has elegant black hair, a goatee, and blue eyes, while talking to his student, Kyriai Kotamani. The young priest carried the files from the hand of the red-haired Magus, and he looked among the files, the first file that belonged to the Magus assassin, Kuritsugu Amiya, who is also one of the candidates, master of the Ainsburn family, the difference between this file and the file that he had previously connected is that this the file is longer and more accurate, Kuritsugu Amiya, in Kiriai's opinion, he is an interesting person. The second person who passed through his file was a waver velvet, a third-class Magus who wanted to prove himself by winning the war, a stupid goal, especially as he risked his life. Kenneth L. Meloy Archibald, a talented rookie Magus of the Archibald family, was taking part for the sake of reputation and glory, and judging by his abilities, he might pose a later challenge. Korea Matu, the master of the Matu family, it was really stupid for Zokan Matu to choose his son who was never trained in his life to become a master, too, it seems that Korea Matu's goal is to save Tokiomi's daughter. 
Kiriai passed the file quickly and looked at the fifth master, who was only discovered today, Victor Von Doom, 10 years, very little information about him, really expected for a child, but for some reason, whenever he thinks about the name, Victor Von Doom, he feels something like deja vu. I spent the entire day while I was touring the city, yet everyone moved away afraid, said a handsome man in dark clothes while carrying one spear in each hand, this person is one of the servants in this war, Lancer, and his real name is Diarmuid, he was talking about two women in front of him, a blonde-haired girl in black clothes and a white-haired woman with warm clothes. You brave people who are only able to accept my invitation, Lancer closed his eyes before he opened it again. This courage, I suppose you are Saber. Yes, and you must be Lancer, said the blonde woman, Arturia Pendragon, or Saber. I regret not being able to say my name even though we will fight to the death, Lancer said with a smile, it is a defect of those miserable rules. Lancer waved his spear while a strange light appeared around Saber at the same time and clothes turned into a medieval knight's armor with a light wave of magical energy, after which she took a defensive position while carrying a hidden sword in her hand. Saber, be careful. I can only use the magic of healing to support you, said Irisville, as she stepped back a little, there is nothing to offer other than that. Leave Lancer to me, said Saber, while not looking to confront her fake master, what worries me is the other masters not appearing, they seem to be planning something, be careful, Irisville, I want you to protect my back. I see, Saber, give me victory. Lancer and Saber stared at each other for a few moments, before Saber first spoke, the charming spell. Lancer smiled silly and put his long spear over his shoulder, sorry, it's a curse I was born with, I can't do anything about it, you can blame my birth or the fact that you gave birth as a woman. Of course you do not expect that this charming face will save you from my blade. This will spoil the pleasure, I see, the servant's ability to class the saber magic resistance was not a lie, this is good, however killing a woman affected by my face will only spoil my reputation, I am glad that my first opponent has such ability. Oh, Saber smiled with a challenge, if you want a fair fight? I consider myself lucky to meet a proud soul like you. Well then, let's get started. The first person to move was a Saber who quickly advanced toward Lancer and waved her sword, Lancer banned the sword by using one of his spears, after which they exchanged both blows several times with their weapons and each hit was strong enough to destroy the ground beneath them and cause numerous cracks in the sidewalk, and one of the containers was destroyed after being hit by the Lancer spear, and as the battle continued, Saber began defending, hoping to find out the Lancer trump card and scratching his face. It is enough for you, Lancer. A deep voice echoed from a loud place, speaking to Lancer. Do not allow this battle to be prolonged. Saber is a difficult opponent. Eliminate her immediately. You can use your noble phantasm. For a second, Lancer looked at the direction from which the sound came before he looked again at Saber. He said before throwing his short spear on the ground, no, master. After this, they both exchanged several strokes with their weapons, and Lancer completely discovered the shape and size of the saber sword, and saber was injured in her ribs because she did not know the Lancer's shaft can cancel magic energy but was treated by Irisville, saber was confused and initially, but she discovered the ability of the Lancer spear after seeing that her armor had not been hit, after that she relied on one attack in hopes of killing Lancer, but Lancer used his shorter spear to hit the wrist of saber. It seems that it will not be an easy win, but I still respect you, Lancer said upon seeing that he was also injured. What nonsense do you utter? Baka. Lord Ilmloy Archibald heard from above while he treated Lancer's injury. Excuse me, master. Lancer smiled while waving his spear. Irisville, heal me. I already did, Saber, you were supposed to be fully recovered, Irisville suddenly said when she realized her healing magic was not working now. You did well to conclude that your armor is not useful in front of Ghidrag but the foolishness of giving up your armor. If you hadn't done that, you would have been able to repel my Gibo. Now I understood, a cursed blade causing wounds that would not be cured. I had to realize that beforehand, a red spear nullifies magic and a cursed yellow spear, and under the right eye is a mole that enchants women, the first among the knights of Fiona, the dazzling face, I never thought I I've had the honor to face you, said Saber, as she reached a certain realization. All thanks to the Holy Grail War, but the honor is mine. It is not possible for a heroic spirit that was summoned by the Holy Grail to not recognize that golden sword, facing the legendary King of Knights and wounding him, even if with one blow, I must be very strong, and now that we know the names we can honor each other as knights, or are you disappointed that this happens after you lose, find your arms. Do not speak nonsense. Saber reshaped her shield and took a different sword position. It would be humiliating to pour all your attention on an injury like this. 
Get ready, Saber, I will get you this time. Lancer said while he took an offensive position, Saber said as I took her warning, if I fail to hit you first, Lancer. At this moment, lightning struck the ground and Ryder appeared in a large vehicle while he shot his arms to his sides and shouted with pride, sheath your blades, the king is here. I am Iskandar, the king of the conquerors, and I am a rider in the holy grail war. Medea and I saw the gathering of the five servants, Lancer, Saber, Ryder, Archer, and Berserker, it seemed that everything went similarly to the anime, and this is a good thing by the way, and we could monitor everything without approaching the battle thanks to the Medea crystal ball. Upon seeing that everyone dispersed, I decided it was time to start moving, I was not a naturally aggressive person, and I only resort to violence when it is necessary, of course, violence is often necessary, but I prefer to use more diplomatic methods. Medea, can I ask you something? I told my butler when I stood up. Of course, master, what do you want to know? What is your proficiency in treating people who are destined to die sooner or later? I asked her while I looked at her in the eyes, right now, she was wearing her witch clothes. It depends on his condition, the situation, and the reason for his injury. Why? Are you planning something? I will take Berserker, but I want you to treat his master, Kariya Matu, who is only getting weaker because of the crest worms inside him, I said to her quietly. Well, isn't he the enemy? We should kill him, not help him, she said to me while she showed little of her psychopathic personality. Oh, I raised my eyebrow while I began to explain to her, you know, Archer's master had two daughters, but he only wanted an education for one, so he simply sold his younger daughter Sakura to Zoken Matu, who uses her body as a farm for his crest worms, and now, Kariya Matu was Sakura's mother childhood friend. So when he heard about it, he decided to save the girl her parents abandoned, but Zoken asked the Holy Grail in return, and because Kariya never trained in his childhood to use magecraft, he had to use crest worms to compensate for that. I spoke without stopping almost. Then he is stupid. He should not help someone else if he cannot help himself, she said to me convincingly, oh my god, my servant is mentally ill. Castor, are you going to do it or not? I calmly told her and stopped calling her by name, because I don't want to argue with her. Well, master, if that's what you really want, she said to me while she was unhappy. I sighed internally while I realized that being on her good side was better than her bad side, it does not matter whether her past is tragic, she is still the witch of betrayal and she is definitely able to betray me, although I would be very angry if she did that because she was so kind to me after I summoned her. Medea, I don't want you to feel like I force you to do something, but I would be happy if you did what I wanted, okay? I smiled at her while I hugged her, like a little boy, given that I am literally a 10-year-old boy in her mid-20th year of age. Maybe this is the first time I hug her, or I am behaving softly with her, hugging was not something for mine, apart from her now, the only person I hugged is my twin sister Valeria, yes I have a twin sister, our family is quite big, there is my mom and dad, my twin sister, my little brother, and three of my uncles are younger than my father, and there are many cousins. And my mother owns two of her brothers who also have sons and wives, we are a large family, unfortunately not everyone is very friendly, we are a family of Magus after all, I doubt that someone in the family will try to kill me because I am the heir. After a few seconds of my embrace, it seems that her heart, made of magic energy, has finally felt warm, and she decided to embrace me too. I parted with it and restated the calm expression of my face, okay, would you mind maybe, transport us? Of course, master, just give me a second. She grabbed me tightly and closed her eyes before activating the spell of Tiro Omicron Psi Alpha, and the next moment we, Medea and me, appeared in a dark alley near the bridge, and the fact that there was a man in the middle of 30 with a white hair in pain a few meters away means my witch's magic has succeeded. Hello, Kariya Matu. I greeted him with a smile on my face. You. Kariya looked at me before focusing on Medea, who was wearing her midi robe, just now I noticed that the other side of his face was full of swollen veins, you. A servant? What do you want from me? I looked at Medea, but I noticed that she decided to let me take the lead, actually, I was hoping we could reach an agreement. Agreement? You, do you want to ally with me? Kariya looked at us with suspicion as she noticed that he looked like he was about to summon Berserker at any point. More or less, I said to him quietly, but Custer had already taken measures to flee. You will die anyway, Kariya Matu, because of the worms that drain your life or the excessive depletion of prana, but I am here to offer a solution that you may be happy with, Kariya Matu. What do you want? He said running while I noticed that his nose was bleeding a little. This man was risking his life here only for a small probability of winning, and even if he did, Zoken might not return Sakura, 
this man was risking to save a girl her parents abandoned her, he might have some other goals such as earning the love of his childhood friend, but I will not deny that his goal was noble, and from what was shown in my previous life, he seems to be a really good person, after all not all members of Mato family are scum as some people thought in my previous life. My servant can heal you from the worms. In return, you must give me the berserker contract. You can do this. Karia looked at us surprisingly, perhaps asking why we hadn't just cut his hand. I nodded, he looked at me for a few seconds before shaking his head, I refuse. I raised my eyebrow up, what? You want to die slowly? Or do you have additional demands? He looked at us for a few moments before answering, Zokan Matul. I want you to kill Zokan Matul. I thought a little before I answered, okay, but not before the end of the Holy Grail War, now, transfer your contract to me so that Castor can fix you. How can I be sure that you will not kill me instead? You wouldn't, if I wanted to kill you you would have been already dead, don't underestimate me just because I am a child, I may be more dangerous than what I look like. I said to him seriously, while the smile disappeared from my face. He looked at me with suspicion before he approached me. As long as you keep your promise to kill Zokan, my death does not matter. On the same day that the servants met at the port warehouse and I stole Berserker and sealed his orders, I now own six now, Karitsuga blew up the building where Kaneth Archibald, his fiancé, and Lancer lived, that night Castor was in a painful process to Korea in order to remove all the worms and their eggs without killing Korea, when she finished she told me that it was very disgusting to take them out, in another way she only murmured, even though she was right because it took too long. Hours to fix Korea's body, I think I owe to her. As for Berserker, he does not seem interested in the fact that his master has changed and this is not surprising because he lost his ability to think logically because of mad enhancement, but this only serves my purpose because I did not intend to keep Berserker unable to think beside me, if he could control his madness completely or speaking would have been different, but in its current state death would be a mercy to him because most servants do not like being in the Berserker class, but I may at least benefit from him. However, the next day, Kenneth L. Meloy Archibald attacked the Einsburn Palace with both his his mystic code and Lancer, Saber repelled Lancer while Karitsugu fought Kenneth who was using his Volumen Hydrogerum, fortunately for Karitsugu that Kenneth underestimated his capabilities, after Kenneth was hit by the original bullet, Lancer carried his master and escaped from the palace, however, that day also Kiriai killed Maya after Irisville failed to stop him. It is good that almost everything has followed the original story, now, it is time to make changes afterwards, and it is good that Medea can watch all places with her crystal ball. Also, Medea and I have made some progress, she is no long calls me master and start calling me directly by my name Victor, and also, we planned that after the Holy Grail War ended we would go together to her hideout from when she was alive, there she had her magical books and spells where she promised me she would teach me what she could, and she even showed me how to find it. It was actually heartwarming for her to put all this confidence in me. However, today was the day that Saber, Ryder, and Archer were expected to have a drink, but before that happened, I decided that I should introduce myself, and that was why Berserker, who was in his spiritual form, went with me to the Einsburn Palace, surprisingly, the front door was open, knowing that Saber and Iris Veal were still here. Upon entering, I found that they were both in front of the gate, with Saber, Arturia Pendragon, standing in front of Iris Veal with both her armor and her sword, it seemed that they noticed my presence before I entered, upon seeing Saber, I noticed that Berserker in his spiritual form suddenly became aggressive, but I I told him to calm down through the mental communication between us that the contract gives us. Hello. I greeted them as I bowed a little, I'm not here to cause any harm. I noticed that Saber relaxed a little when she saw that I was just a child but was silent, while Irisville spoke, and who are you? Please, Mrs. Irisville, pretending to be stupid makes me feel offended, you must know my identity because you are collecting information about every Magus arriving in this city, but since you will pretend to be stupid I will introduce myself, my name is Victor Von Doom and I am the master of Berserker in this war, nice to meet you. Irisville's face grimmed a little, it seems that she did not expect a child to be such rudeness, but she and Saber soon realized something, I am Berserker's master, the servant is particularly aggressive against Saber. I assure you, I did not come here to fight, I was hoping that we could reach a somewhat temporary alliance. Do not you fear that we will kill you, Irisville said while she thought she said something smart. I'm not naive, lady, the moment you try to harm me, Berserker will tear you apart, I said while Berserker appeared next to me, then he started staring at Saber while he started shaking and seemed to be on the verge of attack. Berserker. I said I am sharp and strong tone, at least with my soft, childish voice. Berserker looked at me as he recognized me as his master, so he started to calm himself, it is good that Berserker was from the loyal type to his master, so he will not oppose my orders. By the way, 
why does he look aggressive whenever he sees me? Saber asked me as she lowered her sword, perhaps this was a friendly glimpse of the night. Oh, it looks like he has a past with you, just imagine him without black smoke, and imagine that his armor is blue with a sword similar to your sword in his hand, and you'll remember him, I told her with a smile. Saber thought for a moment before coming to the realization that, this is impossible. How can he? It is quite possible. I suddenly told her. Sir Lancelot. Berserker interacted with his name and looked at Saber, and he would be agitated again, but I cried to calm him down. How could he be a berserker? I knew him before. I don't know, maybe because you humiliated him twice. I told her while I thought why wouldn't anyone use his brain at least once? Question mark. First, you humiliate him as a man when you cuckolded him by sleeping with his lover, then you humiliate him as a knight when you refuse to punish him, and do not forget that you sentenced Guinevere to death, and you are an indirect reason that he was forced to slaughter his knight's friends, and there is a very long list hey, he officially hates you, and surprisingly, that's how Berserker is made. I told her with her serious childish tone, and I wondered internally why Lancelot had not taken revenge in his life, perhaps because of his pride as a knight, but I know that I would have gone into a killing wave if I were him. Saber looked at the ground, and seemed uninterested by the fact that she was being reprimanded by a child, who seemed to have decreased her morale and became sad, on the other hand, Iris Veal was looking at her with anxiety. After that, I ignored the sadness of Arturia and told Lancelot to return to his spiritual body because his physical presence would only result in my need to supply energy to two servers that consumed a greater amount of other services, Castor and Berserker, although I shouldn't worry about this because Medea sucks mana out of the line of the line at Raya du Temple so it has what is called, 10,000 Master of Pure Magic Energy. But I don't want to waste my prana and berserker so it's better to stay in a spiritual form in order to make sure that his instincts do not overcome the rest of his attributes because I am not sure of my ability to keep him under control, and also not, and if keeping him will do anything because he can hardly understand my orders, let alone make his peace with Arturia. We agreed on the terms of the alliance, which is that in exchange for killing Lancer in order to treat the wounds of Arturia, Saber will not fight us until the end of the war, after that we agreed to keep the fact that I am a secret after I discovered Saber the approach of another servant. Berserker also discovered him, but it was in his spiritual form, while Medea notified me through her mental contact because she was watching everything, and in case things went wrong she would transport me. And Berserk out of danger, it is my backup plan. Some people may think that this is a cowardly act, after all the real hero is the one who is fighting direct and legendary fighting and does not use any tricks, I am sorry, but I am not a hero, and I also see direct physical fighting where one is physically injured, a barbaric and primitive act. After all, why did humans invent weapons, witchcraft, assassination techniques, planning and taking advantage of the opponent's weaknesses and strengths? Also, the smart and cunning person lives long, while the stupid person dies quickly. Everything went as in the story, Alexander came and invited Arturia to drink and speak as kings, and although Arturia was not in the best mood, she agreed because she did not want to insult the other side, however, I noticed that the king of the conquerors was he wonders about my identity, you might be surprised when I have a baby, all I did was smile. A little later, Gilgamesh joined the royal drinking group and mocked Alexander's bad wine and brought out a golden jar with three golden glasses. Alexander praised the quality of Gilgamesh wine, I ignored both Irisville and Waver Velvet and approached the group of kings, technically I am he the legal heir of Rome, because I am the seed of Vlad III, I am king, I think so. However, they then began discussing what their wishes were, Alexander said that he wanted to return to life as a human, while Arturia said she wanted to wish Camelot had not fallen, while Gilgamesh said he wanted to return the cup to its original place, stored it, and said that he had possessed it in the past, but this was stupid only because it was not made until 200 years ago, and even the first holy grail was made in the era of Christ. Gilgamesh is just such an arrogant conceit. In any case, Alexander blamed Arturia about her wish and entered into an argument, at that time I snuck close to them and tried to steal the Arturian cup to taste wine, but she slapped my hand and told me that I was too young to drink it and fairly argued, in any case I did again trying to steal the cup, but Gilgamesh sent a sword next to me to prevent me from touching the cup and said that this drink is only for kings, does he not know that he almost killed a child now? And how dare he stop me, to grow, I have to grow. However, I realized that some people would make the same options regardless of the changes he brought about, humiliating, Tokiomi sending his Ashisin army to try to surround us, however, this is not a big deal. Alexander said some motivating words such as saying that he would show his true strength and prove himself to his master who wanted to see his strength a while ago, however, at this moment I stepped in, I am sorry, but in the end you may not have to do all of this anyway. Oh, Alexander lifted his eyebrow while he looked at me, you're so short, little boy, I hardly noticed when you spoke, 
what do you want? Don't waste my time, if you're a fan, wait until I'm done to get my signature. I looked at him from the edge of my eyes, first, I am at the right height for someone of my age, second, I am not a fan of people who think of their muscles, third. I looked again at the assassin's army surrounding us and waved my hand while I activated the noble phantasm, so I intend to seize my, Kazikli Bay, Lord of Execution. Suddenly, multiple black and red spears began to emerge from the earth and penetrate the bodies of the assassins, none of them had a chance because the spears were very fast and multiple, each one being penetrated by approximately three or four spears, it was a massacre from one side. You killed the 100 face Hassan Isaba, you gained 1,100,000 DXP. Earlier after I killed Hassan of a hundred faces I received many notices but I ignored them because of the situation, that there were three historical kings behind me, and fortunately, regardless of Alexander who asked me whether I am a heroic spirit as well, he did not press on anyone, Arturia remained silent, while Gilgamesh looked at me with disdain, and I'm sure both Tokiomi and Kerry have a lot of things to think about, after all, a child with noble phantasm doesn't come out of nowhere. However, after he has left all from Gilgamesh and Alexander, I excused myself and went to investigate my side of the deal. I am not stupid, I know that this alliance is empty words, after all I did it with Irisville and she is not Saber's master, while Karitsugu will not be interested in an alliance because he intends to kill all the participants, however, this was my plan. First, by introducing myself as the master of Berserker, everyone will assume that Castor's master is Korea Matu, the person I was hiding in Ryudo, and of course they will try to kill him because Castor is one of the weakest servants, but he will not be able to find him because I am hiding him, but in the end, they will not know that I am the real master of Castor, and they will automatically assume that I have to provide a very high amount of prana to maintain Berserker, while in fact the 1000 units of energy I have are more than enough to sustain Lancelot for a few dozen minutes of intense combat. Second, by forming an alliance with Iris Veal as the master of Saber, it is as if I admit that I do not know that the real master of Saber is Karitsugu, which will make him believe that he has an advantage against me, while the matter is actually the opposite, and he will think that he will be able to use me. And by helping Saber to regain her arm it is as if I give him an advantage against everyone because Saber will be able to use her noble phantasm, Excalibur, while at the same time a potential and dangerous enemy, Lancer, and his master, will be eliminated. Finally, by showing my noble phantasm, Kazakli Bay, this would put everyone in a paradox, who am I? How did I get a noble phantasm? They will start doubting my identity after confirming the identity of the original owner of Kazikli Bay, Vlad III, and they will assume several possibilities. The first is that I found the noble phantasm, but they would deny this immediately because Kazikli Bay was more a skill than a tangible weapon, and they would assume that I am a heroic spirit of sorts but they would deny this because they already know that I am Victor Von Doom, heir to the Von Doom family and finally they'll stay in confusion because of this, Lager. So, really, regardless of my look and name, they really don't know anything about me, and maybe I will be a little mysterious because I have a strong weapon, but Karitsugu still thinks he has an advantage against me and thinks they can benefit from me. In the end, the person who manipulated them is me, and everything they know about me is wrong, and the truth is that I did not tell any lie to them, I just did not say everything and let them use their imagination, my greatest strength was planning, cunning and manipulating my enemies, not fighting and using talk no jutsu and remembering my friends in order to increase my strength, I hardly have friends, and I am fighting for my interests and not for someone else. Well, my fight in this war is to ensure that Ingram Mainyu does not turn into an invincible deity with an infinite amount of mana and immortality due to the third magic, but even saving the world is my interest. I, Victor Von Doom, threw everyone into an illusion of their own head. When Medea made sure that no one was watching me, she moved Anya to Ryudo Temple right in front of her, and I smiled at her when I saw her, my beautiful wicked witch. Welcome back, Victor, you were so cool there. She told me in an encouragement tone, I am not happy when she treats me like a child most of the time, but now I decided not to show this now, I went to her and hugged her, although I am barely longer than her waist. Oh, Victor, why is this? She asked me but she hugged my back too, after a few seconds separated myself from it. Nothing. I said to her while I repeated my calm expression on my face, anyway, I have to start. Did you discover where Kaneth and Lancer were? Yes, but before that, can I ask you something? She asked me she was in a serious expression, but at the same time she seemed to think that what she was going to say was not important. Of course, Medea, anything you want. The spears in which you killed the assassins, it was noble phantasm, right? Why didn't you tell me you had it before? She said to me, from her expression, I assume she thinks that I do not trust her. 
I just didn't think this was important, it was not something that I possess, it is like a special skill that I can use because I am the descendant of Vlad III, I am sorry, Medea, I said to her calmly, it is not that I did not want to pretend that I am sad or guilty, I feel now with a little bit of guilt, it's just that I'm not used to showing how I feel openly. So only you did not think about saying it, and not that you decided to hide it from me? I nodded, seeing this, she smiled and ran with her, today I'm going to cook again. I smiled a little too, too, she was not very good at cooking, but I discovered from my time with her that she loves doing that, so I let her to cook for us, and although sometimes she burned food or left it raw, or forgot to put spices, except I ate it anyway and told her it was good. She went to the kitchen here at Ryudu Temple, while I sat in a chair watching her, and I decided to check my notifications. You have gained 1,100,000 EXP. You have reached level 10. You can choose a new perk. You have reached level 20. You can choose a new perk. You have reached level 29. Total statistical points, 40. I was a little shocked, now I have a total of 40 stats points and I can choose two new perks, I know that this will be useful later, after all so both the fourth wall and the eidetic memory were very beneficial to me so far, however, I decided I should not urgently allocating points now, and I checked my remaining notifications. You killed Hassan Isabah, Hassan of the Hundred Faces, you can choose two skills and one noble phantasm. Skills. Presence Concealment, A+. Expert of many specializations, A+. Librarian of Stored Knowledge, C. Noble Phantasm. Zabaniya, Delusional Illusion, B+. Now this was interesting, so by killing a servant, I can get some of his skills and equipment, now I start weighing my options, Presence Concealment is an essential skill among members of the Hassan El Sabah sect, and at its current level A+, even servants cannot discover its owner. Expert of many specializations looks very good skill, especially at her current rank, and I of course would not mind gaining more knowledge that Hassan has, but I decided not to choose it because it is stupid to work on something new while I still have many things to work on. On the other hand, Librarian of Stored Knowledge is a much better option as it will take my eidetic memory to the next level. As for Noble Phantasm, it can be used to split one's personality, this thing is very dangerous and maybe I will never use it, but I will not mind getting it because it may prove useful in the future. So I picked Presence Concealment, A+, Librarian of Stored Knowledge, C, and Zabania, Delusional Illusion, B+. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.